The U.S. government has approved the $11 billion merger of U.S. Airways and American Airlines, and the move comes as a bit of a surprise, and it's just the latest example of a ramp-up and consolidation amongst U.S. airlines. Karina Huber has more on what this could mean for consumers. The proposed merger of U.S. Airways and American Airlines, which will create the world's largest airline, initially didn't appear likely to take flight. A mere three months ago, the U.S. Department of Justice said the merger could cost consumers hundreds of millions of dollars. Now it's reversed course and has approved the deal. There was a lot of political pressure from the unions, from the mayors of cities, and from a lot of governors to uh, change their mind. Airline expert Scott Mayerwitz says labor unions supported the deal because they thought it would help pilots and other airline employees keep their jobs. Unions went to Washington, they rallied against Congress, they talked to the Department of Justice. They really put a lot of pressure on the government to try to reach some type of compromise. To get the deal done, the merged airline agreed to give up takeoff and landing slots in key airports. Most importantly, Washington's Reagan National, where it will have 44 fewer flights. Here at LaGuardia in New York, the new airline will be giving up 17 slots. It will also be giving up gates in Los Angeles, Dallas, Chicago, and Miami, which will leave more room for smaller carriers like JetBlue and Virgin to give them a greater foothold in those markets. Some flyers are worried that ticket prices will rise because of the merger. Definitely in personal travel, um, it can be really frustrating and it can limit the amount of time that I might be able to take trips because I have to think about those costs. I think that over time, the, uh, the price is going to be good for some people and bad for others. Overall, consolidation hasn't been good for consumers. Over the past five years, there have been three major U.S. deals that have reduced competition. Over that period, ticket prices have risen 15 percent. But Mayerwitz says the American U.S. Airways deal could result in lower ticket prices for some destinations. We should see airfares drop in New York and Washington because the government is letting low-cost carriers into those markets, and those low-cost low carriers have generally brought down prices for everybody. Travelers going to more remote destinations may not be so lucky and could see those airfares rise. Like in real estate, location, location, location will increasingly determine the price of a flight. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.